Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do a review on a product that is new to me from a brand that is very new to me. So this is my first product that I have ever uh, gotten from Laura Geller and it is the Balance and Brighten foundation and this is in medium um, I didn't want to go with light because I didn't know if it would be too light so this is supposed to be a baked uh, powder foundation so this is what it looks like so it has like a marble type of effect so I don't know, it kind of reminds me same as the MSF Natural. So yeah, this is what the MSF uh, Natural looks like. So I feel like it's very similar, but um, the MSFs aren't known as like a foundation powder. And this says it's a foundation in the form of a powder. So, I know that they're both baked, and, um, I've, like I've said, like I said, I've never tried anything from this brand, and I was really curious to see how this would work, um, on its own. So, all I'm going to do is spray a little bit of Fix Plus, and add some primer on my T-zone and then uh, apply this all over my face. So the primer that I'm going to use today is the Tarte Clean Slate Primer and this is the Poreless. So when I think of a foundation, I think of flawless finish. I think of like redness reduction. So um, I'm hoping that it will be enough to cover the redness like around my nose and stuff. Foundation. So again, this is just like a first impressions video. And it's like a mini review. So yeah, I just... Uh, decided since it's going to be the first time using it I should film it for you guys and that way you guys can see how it performs on the skin so I really don't know what brush to apply it with so I'm just going to take this because um, I can I can apply it uh, a little bit more careful with this brush since it's not very big and bulky. So I'm going to do half of my face first. So it seems to be like a perfect match for my skin, so I'm happy about that. Alright, so this is one layer of powder, so from what I can see, it's, um, mm, the redness, 
I guess was reduced a bit as you can see on the side of my cheek I have some and but I can still see it peeking through um, I would say it's so far a light coverage so I don't know if I if I would use it alone with just one layer so I'm going to go in with a second layer Alright, so this is the second layer. Now I'm just going to do the other side. So, um, my impression of this is that it's like a light to medium coverage, uh, powder foundation. I wouldn't necessarily call it a foundation because I feel like it doesn't give me that flawless appearance that a foundation usually gives your skin but I'm going to finish applying it on this side and then I'm going to try since it is a baked product you can wet this so I'm going to try to add some fix plus and see what happens so I already finished applying it to my face now I'm going to uh just spray this with fix plus now um i guess my impression so far is feels very smooth on my skin um and it doesn't feel cakey or anything even though i did apply two layers and um it feels very lightweight so that's good so now i'm applying it wet all right so i already finished applying it i applied it uh, I applied two layers dry and I applied one layer of it wet with Fix Plus and um, I would say I got like a light to medium coverage. I would definitely not wear this alone, um, especially to go out. Um, I would probably wear this just at home if I'm... Um, just feeling like I need a little bit of uh, makeup on my face and um, I would probably uh, continue wearing it, it um, but with uh, another foundation so I would apply a liquid foundation and then apply this on top of it so yeah, um, it feels, like I said, very smooth and lightweight. I wouldn't necessarily call it a foundation, even though it says foundation. Um, I really don't feel like it's, it's a foundation powder. I hope you guys enjoyed this, like, first impressions video. Um, I don't know if any of you uh if any of you have tried this before let me know down below and tell me how you guys like it if you've ever tried it um i think this would be great for someone um who likes a very light coverage so um yeah i i do like it i mean but it uh i'm the type of person that likes more more of a medium to full coverage uh, when I wear makeup. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions of the Laura Geller Balance in Brighton. And again, this is in medium. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, it contains 9 grams of product. 
so it's a pretty good size if you guys would like me to review any product um, that you can think of leave it down below in a comment and I will do that for you guys if I can um, of course get my hands on that product so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye